Hey guys, it's Mallard with another stamp video, and in this video today, I'm going to show you um, the contents of the grab bag I'll be sending back to Jason. In my previous video, um, Jason, the guy who sent me um, the grab bag with this letter in it, um, sent me an awesome grab bag, had some sweet stamps in it, um, and so he's requested a few things in here that I'm just going to read to you guys. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to show you, um, it's underneath here, underneath here, what I'm going to send him back. So Jason, if you if you want to be surprised and not know what you're getting, um, go ahead and just watch this video later after you get the package. Um, but this is going to be a little bit different grab bag. Um, this isn't a stamp heavy grab bag and I'll explain why. Um, but yeah, we'll just, we'll get to this real quick. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So we're going to start right here. So this is what Jason requested. If you have spares, I am particularly interested in British Commonwealth stamps, especially George V and earlier from Africa, the Caribbean and Asia. I am also a very keen coin collector. If you are interested in that sort of thing. Again, British Commonwealth predominantly, but anything made of silver from anywhere is also cool. Let me know if you want to swap any silver. Um, so, like I mentioned in my previous video, um, I actually collect coins and stamps. They usually go hand in hand. Um, I have a pretty serious coin collection, I'd call it. Um, I also have some uh, money from just over the world. Um, I do think my stamp collection is bigger and better than my coin collection, um, but that's not to say my coin collection isn't um, you know, kind of small. So this video might be a little different. Um, I'm going to send him more coins and paper money. Um, and he sent this from Australia. So I'm hoping to send him a few things that he probably can't get his hands on as easily or readily as I can here in the States. Um, so I hope you enjoy this. A um, little different again, not stamp heavy. I did include stamps because he requested them, but I I'm also going to include some other things, um, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, without further ado, we'll get into it. Um, so yeah, so right off the bat, um, these are the stamps that I'm including um, in this grab bag for him. Um, got a nice cypher stamp. We have a Hong Kong stamp with a China overprint. Really clean looking stamp. Got a few of these. So I don't know if these will be common for Jason. Um, I just wanted to include them um, because he requested them. Um, and Jason, just so you know, um, send me, if you want more stamps, man, just send me back um, a letter. You don't have to send me any stamps and just let me know. Um, I tried to make this, like I said, more geared towards you and what you wanted. You said you're a very keen coin collector, so I wanted to um, help you out some with that. Um, just a little different feel of this video. Um, yeah, and again, I want to send this postcard interesting picture on the back um, but this is a postcard um, from 1915 um, yeah um, pretty sweet postcard it's a Miss Watanowski I'm pretty sure um, and I did a video on this guy he's actually a doctor um, who um, well, it was a pretty big deal back um, in the day um, so if you want to see um, that video I'll put in the link in the description down below where I talk about who Dr. Watanowski actually is um, but yeah, pretty cool backstory, um, pretty cool story. I want to send you this. It's a postcard for the United States from 1915. Pretty awesome. i put that right there. Um, now, these two letters go hand in hand. Um, this is, again, one of the um, Wittnowski, um video um, thing. But um, So this letter is actually from Hong Kong, um, and it is actually um, hand-typed. All right, so I'm trying to get it all in the shot. So there's letter two. You see letter two at the top? It's all hand typed. Um, it's really funny. It's a really personal letter um, sent from some, an acquaintance of Wintnowski's in Hong Kong. Um, he was married at this time when this letter was sent to him, so I'm not sure who this person is. Um, but yeah, it's really personal, really cool, um, and I wanted to make sure these got a good home. Um, and I think Jason, you you would appreciate these letters for um, what they are. Um, they're really funny. You should read them. They're a good time. Um, but yeah, I just want to include these two. They go hand in hand, letter one and letter two, um, both from Hong Kong. So pretty cool, pretty cool stuff there. Um, and this gets into kind of the paper money and the coinage um, that I have for you. So um, right off the bat, um, a 1950 quarter, 
Um, it is 90% silver. Um, these are pretty sought after at this point. A lot of people who collect um, silver and stack silver, they go after quarters and dimes uh, because of the high content of silver. And you can usually get these for pretty cheap. You can get these right at the spot price, which is around $3 a piece for these guys. But um, yeah, just want to send you this, a nice silver quarter. It's not in great shape. It's not in terrible shape. Um, don't know if you have one of these. These are super common here in the States. It's a drummer boy. Um, this was um, for Bicentennial, um, 1976. Um, so yeah, pretty cool coin. Again, not in great shape. I'm um, Just something I wanted to give you that's kind of unique to the States. Um, and this is a silver quarter from Canada, or a silver coin from Canada. It is a quarter, yeah. Um, again, I don't collect foreign coins in 1940 um, a ton. I have a collection of them, but I wanted to send you this. Because, um, again, I don't know if Canadian coins are hard to come by in Australia, so I wanted to send you this. Um, it is Georgia 6th, um, but it is silver, so um, I thought you'd appreciate that. I'm assuming it's going to be like 90% silver like that quarter, but who knows. Um, and now, um, I talked about giving you some Brazilian money. Um, so 10 hay eyes. Um, so hay eyes, one hay eye, um, or I should say one American dollar is the equivalent to about three hay eyes. Um, so you can do the math there. I'm not going to worry about it. But here's 10 hay eyes, five hay eyes, um, and I'll show you the front and back and two hay eyes. So um, the 10 hay eye is right here, front and the back. See that? Yeah, this is Brazilian currency, um, really colorful. Um, I have been to Brazil a few times. Um, I have played soccer there. Um, as you guys know, I'm actually a soccer coach currently, and I would take trips over there um, with the team, um, and we would play some lower-level teams and some local teams, and it was awesome. Um, love Brazil, love the country, love the people, super friendly people. Um, but yeah, I have some currency from there that I want to send Jason's way. Um, I, of course, may go back at some point to Brazil. Um, I don't know, but I don't know how hard this currency is to get in Australia, so I wanted to send this your way. But yeah, two hay eyes, sea turtle. I'm going to make sure to package these to try to keep them nice and nice and clean. Um, and then, this is one of the last things. Um, can anyone tell me right off the bat what is special about this dollar bill? Anyone? Uh, if you can, comment down below. Um, for those of you who do know, this is called a star note. Um, so when there was misprints um, found in circulation, they replaced those misprints with these um, star notes. Um, and some star notes, if the serial number is super special, super unique, can be very, very rare. Also, depending on the year it was printed and the series in which it was printed can make it really, really rare. I haven't, you know, looked this one up online. You can do it super easily. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, haven't looked it up. Uh, it could be valuable. Um, most of the time they're not, but this serial number isn't terrible. 0554-3396 um, has some repeaters there. Um, but yeah, I just want to send this to Jason. Um, I hope you don't have a star note. I hope you'll appreciate this. Um, but yeah, I have one more thing I forgot to get out. Um, it's this little piece of paper here. Um, so these stems are from southern Nigeria. All right, that one looks like it has a little damage on the top left. Um, there's a reason why I'm keeping them on this paper. I just want to send them to you as they are. Um, so yeah, Southern Nigeria. Um, but yeah, uh, that's that's what I'm going to send you, Jason. Um, again, way different grab bag than what we normally do. Normally we're super stamp heavy, um, but I wanted to send him some postcards, um, some currency, um, some stamps, and also a star note. Um, but yeah, um, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you do want to exchange grab bags with me, I'll send the address you can send them to in the description below. Send me a letter like Jason did. Let me know what you want, and I'll do my best to fulfill that request. Jason, thank you so much for your grab bag. I hope this grab bag will suffice. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching.